Time now for a little bit of good news, though. A local young woman getting the wedding of her dreams thanks to local businesses. Check this out. Christiana was never adopted. She suffered from abuse starting at the age of four, bounced between foster homes and then back with her parents. Despite all of that, she graduated with a 4.2 GPA from high school, graduated college, and is currently in a master's program. Doesn't she look beautiful on her wedding day? Right now, she's working three jobs to try to get by. She helps take care of her younger siblings. She thought she was being interviewed for a documentary, but the pranksters set her up for a huge Oh surprise. my God. So, um, that's, yeah, so come here. That's because you're the most deserving person we could have found. You 100% deserve this. She got the wedding of her dreams thanks to community partners and the pranksters do this so often for people, not just weddings, but other wonderful acts of kindness for people who deserve it. They do an incredible job. You should follow them on Facebook. Well, thank you to all who contributed to that wonderful effort. And now let's move on to this. Treats and notes of gratitude delivered to some of our healthcare heroes. The team at St. Luke's Pulmonary Associates organized the bins for respiratory therapists and ICU staff in Nampa, Meridian, Boise, and Magic Valley. Noon Hydration donated 400 tablets of their immunity line to help keep our uh, healthcare heroes healthy. And with the help of so many spouses in the group, they were able to include very thoughtful cards from kids. Please hang in there. You have no idea how much so many of us appreciate you and all the hard work you are tackling day in and day out right now. And this is what being a hero is all about. Nampa students in Brett Miller's residential construction class built a handicap ramp for a senior woman in the Nampa community. There's a picture of all of them together after they built that ramp. Thank you to these Nampa students. That is cool. And check this out. Current Bora High senior Sierra Schultz is making history as the first girl to officiate a varsity football game in the third district. So way to go, Sierra. We are so proud of you. And more history made by young ladies here in Boise. Boise State Volleyball took down number 10 ranked Utah on Monday. The first victory over a top 10 ranked team in program history. So thanks uh, for this. Uh, a wonderful win to them. Congratulations, ladies. That's huge. Well, we need a lot more of this right about now. Ross Arbaugh shared this to our Idaho Weather Watchers page. He was in the middle fork of the Payette. He saw all these pine cones there, and he made something beautiful for all of us out of them. The word love, and we could all use a lot more of that. Well, do you have good news to share? Text it to us, 208-321-5614, or you can share it with me on my Facebook page. I'll see it there, and it might just make it into our morning good news.